This is a quick bash tutorial for beginners. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go over some basic things here. Uh, the first thing is the echo command. Uh, if you just type echo and then in quotations type something like hello world, you'll see that it printed out uh, what you wanted it to echo out. So uh, now we can say hello Tom and that goes out hello Tom. So that's how you display uh, a message out on a screen. Uh, now there's also a sleep command and you just type sleep and then a number and that would be a number of seconds so we'll just do five and you'll see that it waits five seconds before continuing. Uh, five seconds is the default. Um, if you want to do five minutes you can do 5m or 5h for hours. Um, now to put this into a uh, shell script. We're going to use. I'm going to use nano. I'm just going to call this temp.sh. Uh, you want to start off all your bash scripts with the pound exclamation point forward slash bin forward slash bash, and that's just telling the operating system that this is a bash shell script. So now I'm going to type echo. Welcome. And I'll have it sleep for one second, and I'm going to echo how is your day so far. Now uh, in Nano it's control X to exit, it asks if I want to say it, I'm going to say yes, it asks if uh, I still want to call it uh, temp.sh, I'm going to hit enter for that. Uh, and now there's a file called temp, temp sh. Uh, before we can run the program, we have to make it executable. So we're going to change, right, change mode, chmod, plus x for executable, and then the name of the file, hit enter. Now, since this script is in this folder, we're going to want to do period forward slash, and then the name of the file. Now we run that, it says welcome. Wait a second, and then ask the question for the next echo that we put in there. Um, so there's another command called the clear command. If you type in clear and hit enter, it clears the screen and helps keep things nice and clean. I'm going to go back into our shell script, nano, uh, and then the name of the file you want to edit. I like to start off all my shell scripts with clear, so it clears the screen. I'm going to make this sleep a little bit longer, two seconds. And, uh, now we want to retrieve a user's information. So we're going to use the read command, and then we're going to create what's called a variable, which we'll use later on, and we're just going to call it ANS for answer. So um, now we can go, we can control X, yes, enter. Now, we don't have to run change mode again because the script is already executable. We'll just run it again. It says welcome, waits two seconds. How is your day so far? And now it's going to sit here until we enter some information. I'm just going to type good. We didn't do anything with that information. Let's go back in and do something with that information now. Now, we can clear the screen again. And I'm going to echo you typed, and now we put a dollar sign A and S. This dollar sign lets us know that we're using the variable called A and S that we grabbed from up here. Now just to let you know, A and S can be anything, well, almost anything you want it to be. Uh, so I just put A and S for answer. Control X, Y, Enter. We're in the script again. Welcome. How is your day so far? I'm going to type good again. Now I hit enter, it clears the screen, and it wrote, you typed good. <coughs> uh, another quick uh, thing I want to show you is how to save output or input to a file. So once again, if we type echo hello world, it just prints the word hello world here. But if we wanted to put that into a file, we're going to create a new file. We're just going to use this little uh, greater than symbol. And then the name of the file, I'm just going to call it temp.txt. So 
instead of printing it on the screen, they took the hello world and put it into a temp.txt file. So now, if we nano temp.txt, you can see hello world is in that text file. And that's just a regular text file like you would type with notepad or any other text file. Uh, I'm going to control X to exit out of that. Didn't ask if we wanted to save because we didn't change anything. Now, if we type this again, change it to uh, hello Bob, and we'll go back into nano, you see that now it's changed it to hello Bob. But now let's say we want to just add a line instead of replace the text that was in there. So we'll go back up to hello world. And instead of using one greater than symbol, we're going to use two. This means don't erase the file, just add to the bottom of it. So if we hit enter, go back into nano, you can see it just added hello world to the end of that file that started off hello bob. We can run that command again, and go back in nano, and now you see it's in there. It added that line again to the bottom. And if we do this again, with just one greater than, and we go back in there, you see it erased everything and replaced it with that since we just used the one greater than symbol. Uh, I'm going to clear the screen here. Um, so now, let's say we just wanted to see the input of a file, or the contents of a file without having to go into nano. The cat command will display whatever's inside a file. So now I can cat our temp text file, and you see it displayed whatever was inside it here. So let's go back into our uh, file here and uh, let's add another line. <coughs> and we're just going to echo the answer and add it to a file called ans.txt. So now you'll see that uh, we're clearing the screen, displaying our messages, asking the question, grabbing the user's input, clearing the screen again, displaying back to the screen what the user inputted, but then also the last line is going to save that to a text file. So we're going to save that. Now, if we run that file, I can type good here, and it says you typed good, but if we cat out our ANS text file, you'll see the word good is in there. Uh, so if we were to go back into our file here, we can also just add the cat command here, ans.txt. Now, when we run our script, it's going to do all the same things. I can, I'm going to type bad this time. And you'll see it says, you typed bad, but then it says good and bad because both good and bad are in the text file that we saved. Uh, that was just a real quick uh, beginner's uh, Bash script tutorial. Uh, I wanted to show as much as I can as simple features. Uh, so I think you can play around with that for a bit, and I hope you have fun.